in the fast break. Now, like Kentucky before them, when they struggle defensively, they are vulnerable in their 10 losses this season. Opponents have averaged 92 points a game against them with their starting five, but Micah Hanlogton did not see much time last night. And Hanlogton gets scored on as Nick Pringle comes flying down the lane. Well, they want to drive Florida's guards because when the help defender comes over, there's that pocket pass. You've got to dive hard to the rim. Well executed there. Third meeting in 24 days between these two teams. Alabama won on its home court in overtime by five, 98 to 93. Samuel leads it short, and then Florida hammered them 105 87 on senior day. A layup. Rachel gets it right back, and it finds Nelson on the dive. Banks it in. Two pocket passes and three possessions. Alabama has found a recipe against this Florida defense. Walter Clayton Jr. off balance and right to the board. Here's Estrada. Remember, Mark Sears, the leading scorer for this team. He is a very calm influence on the offensive end. But they have flipped the script just like AM did in game one. And another rim look broken up. And now Zion Poland. Over to Will Richard, a great first half player. That was the word in the film room, and Richard gets the first make for the Gators. He had 13 quick ones last night. It was quiet after that. Estrada for three. Got it. A sizzling start for Alabama. Five of seven from the floor. Tyree Samuel can't make it from three feet away, and here comes Sears. If you make their big shoot, their offensive rebounding threat goes way down. Sears brought it all the way back down to the court with him. And now Walter Clayton Jr. with the left-handed layup. He is really good in transition. They will not follow their big up there unless there's a ball screen, but look at that congested lane. They want to make Florida pay for having two non-shooting bigs on the court at the same time. Condon gets cut off, turns it into a beautiful blind jump hook. 6'11", freshman from Perth, Australia. Jaron Stevenson on the floor for Bama. Here's Griffin. And back to their leading scorer, Sears. All conference versus all conference, and Sears wins this one. Mark Sears in the matchup in Gainesville had 33 points, drew eight fouls. A good chunk of those points came in the last five minutes of the game when it was already decided, but Florida could not stay in front of it. When he showed the ability to attack with the right hand as teams sit on that left, he's got to be able to do it both ways. Condon had a mouse in the house. When it's really the guards, they get most of the scoring opportunities by far. Shot clock at five. Nelson drive, running hook. Hey, Magic Johnson, where'd that come yeah. from? <laughs> Didn't Magic do this against your Sixers in the playoffs? <laughs> or in the finals? When you... Missed the hammer, the Gators coming the other way. It's been two and a half minutes since Florida's made a bucket. Aberdeen push shot is good. He's vanilla ice. He said, yeah, I, I was rocking one of those cool fades slash high top, uh, uh, flat tops for a little while. Just short pick and roll, hard dive by the big. Clayton behind the Hauk screen, buries the three, and Florida is tied it at 17. You cannot go under, you gotta go over the top. Send him towards the paint. Kick out for a Stevenson three. That's an answer. Riley Kugel. Down the lane and a layup. Nelson just bailed on him. Not sure they should have reset. Did that hit rim? I think it had to hit the corner, yeah. It was not pretty. Nelson rejects that one. Samuel picks it up. Estrada around the Sears screen and behind Pringle for three. That's a good looking play. Aaron Estrada has his second triple. You cannot go underneath that. You have to stay connected to these shooters and fight over the top. Pulling right down the lane. Let me ask you though, from a defensive standpoint, does it make it more difficult when Mark Sears is the one setting the screen for the shooter? It, it can, but they've got it. There they go again. They're going underneath. Out to right side. Tried to wrap around pass, nearly threw it away. 
Bell Reichel Jr. with the drive over Hanlogson. And that's what Nate Oates has talked about. He said, look, if they're going to play two bigs, let's spread them out and make them guard us off the bounce. That's not the matchup Florida wanted to have. Google challenge two. Sears intercepted by Poland. Just didn't see him sitting there, and Poland's floater goes. To get Sears an opportunity for a driving lane. Clayton fires first touch. Clayton is good off the bounce, but he is great off the catch, and you have to get out there sooner. Sears crosses over Poland, steps through, got it taken away. Good hands by the big Alex Condon. Sears is face guarding Poland. They can't start the offense without him. Now Clayton with the drive. Pringle got in the way and Condon cleaned it up. Rebounded by Thomas Schock, the freshman from Pennsylvania. That's outstanding defensive effort by Howe. He guarded several guards on that play and cleaned up the miss. Poland for three. Florida on a 10 0 run. Here's Sears, was open for a split second. Ball fake and a spin, try to pull a Massé on it, and then Pringle draws a foul from Thomas Howe. Bama 44% from the floor. Sears into Howe. Rebounded by Condon. Push ahead to Richard. He'll take it himself, and he buries it. He's had an all-conference season for the Gators. Estrada right down the paint. Puck fake, and he sneaks it in. First two for Estrada. That ends a 17-0 Florida run. Headed to play in the half. Florida has led at the half in the previous two meetings with Bama this year. But this is impressive based on Alabama's start. This is three straight halves of basketball that Florida has really dominated mm. Alabama when you consider what happened down in Gainesville. Clayton somehow keeps a dribble alive and bounces to Richard for the jam. Florida, the back cut, left it wide open for the jam for Richard. All right, thank you. Tyree Samuel commits the foul. That's his first. Hand off to Estrada. He's got hand locks up on him. And through the double foul, Pringle, who got it rejected by Samuel. To Alyssa's point, this is an Alabama team that has seen themselves down double digits. They do not panic because they know how explosive their offense is. This one feels a little bit different, though, with the way Florida's had their number for three consecutive halves. And it's taken away by Richard. That extension came with a nice little pad to the salary for Todd Golden. He's a Bruce Pearl assistant before going to San Francisco and then getting the job in Gainesville. And I think the other thing, coaches don't want to leave this league. This is where you want to be as a college head coach. Sears hard in the hand logs and it's only the sixth point of the game. Here's Tyree Samuel, guarded by Pringle. Pop, you can't stop, and Samuel gets another paint bucket. That's where you want him to get it, but you got to know that he loves to spin back baseline when he's on this side of the court. And Samuel, Tony said, he sprinted to the scores table, smile on his face, did whatever he could to help the team for five seconds, came right back out, and he said, that's the type of attitude we need to have on this team. And Tendon White has earned his way back into the rotation because of that sort of attitude and team first Whoa! Approach. Samuel downhill! Well, we saw Bama get these pick and rolls early in the game, and now Florida will taste their own medicine. And Samuel working on Nelson. Lost it, and Hanlarks and found it. Take your defensive intensity, and I think you hit the nail on the head. That happens to this Alabama team too often. Estrada is able to bank it in. That's his first bucket this half. A lot of the question marks still remain as some of the top SEC teams going to March Madness. Here's Estrada working on Poland. I would counter with this, and I, I think perhaps Kentucky is a good example. This Alabama team could be a good example. First of all, styles make the fights, right? It depends on who ends up on your bracket as to whether or not that's going to play out well for you. Google has it rejected. Sears penetrates and takes it off the glass. You think maybe Tyree Samuel nudged up against one of them and said, hey, can you just uh, leave that back in the embassy suites, please? And Lawton reverses it and it falls in. 
He didn't. All SEC player did not win the community service award. <laughs> I think he served the community that night. <laughs> In and out from Sam Walters. If you would like to share any other stories about Ron Slay that you have from his time on campus, just find Dane Bradshaw on Twitter. Walter Clinton Jr.'s got 17. It's story time about Ron Slay. Alyssa, what do you got? My my Uber <laughs> driver from the airport was name dropping Ron Slay like the entire ride to downtown Nashville. The net strength of schedule is okay. The quad one and two record is ten and seven. Estrada off the window. Clayton into the paint. Cut off. Nelson gambled, lost his balance, and Tyree Samuel delivers again. 16 points for Samuel. Can play with an offensive freedom that can allow him to go on individual runs. There's the double and a kick to the corner for three. Buried. Florida had a 15 point lead at the break. They've escorted Bama by nine. Nelson said, put me. Extra shot with an offensive rebound here as Grant Nelson gathering himself for a minute. I don't know if he got bumped on that last play or just went it. They leave Condon all alone. And Alex Condon splashes down a three. His dad, Damon, a great footy player growing up in Australia. His mom, Leah, part of the Australian national swim team. And Ryland Griffin could be much of an issue. Alabama unable to clean up the defensive glass. There's Denzel Aberdeen. Sears to Nelson. Oh, man. And then Sears fighting for it. Gets it to Estrada for the layup. 22. You don't typically see this type of effort, but watch Sears and White here that he's going to be the first to the deck. Dive on this loose ball. Get it to Estrada for the two. Address what went wrong in this game and in the film room. What's, Such a balance. Yeah, what's fixable about what went wrong for Bama tonight? Well, nice dunk there by Pringle. They got the message from Todd Gold. Yes, they won against Georgia, but that was not a good defensive effort. They were getting beat off the bounce all game long. Sam Walters with his second triple. Sears off the window. Showing you the right, then switches it last minute with the left. Pringle can't stop popping and got another jam. He's got a dozen. Lettuce is on the perimeter. It's been the difference. And Pringle going up high to get that alley-oop. Talk to Mark Sears about his growth as a player this season. And he lost so much talent off of last year's team, including, of course, the player of the year, Brandon Miller. Sears sizes it up. Stevenson collecting some points late. Disappointing loss and a real gut punch for this team. And then they went in midweek to Florida on the Gators senior night and lost their second in a row. Sears with a beautiful reverse. You know, this is a Florida team that, like I said, not too long ago, Clayton puts a bow on it. Florida will run the clock out. And the Gators, for the first time in five years, will play on into the weekend and make a semifinal appearance. They get Texas A&M tomorrow night. Been a good week to be golden, that's for sure. And we'll try to continue it into the weekend here in the Music City. Alabama heads back to T-Town to regroup.